Hello Dream 11 users, welcome back to my channel. It's a second match of the day to be played between Perth Coaches Women's vs LA Strikers Women's. So firstly coming to the pitch report. So it's the 54th match of the day to be played on 26 2nd November. So match time 4.50 am Indian Standard Time. So venue North Sydney Oval, Sydney Ground. So average first innings total in this ground 145. So batting first one year 80% of the matches. So team who batted first won 80% of their matches. So chasing will be difficult in this pitch. So this data shows that chasing will be difficult. So it's a balanced pitch. So it helps both batters as well as bowlers. So spinners tend to get some more assistance from this pitch. So head head to head performance. So Adler Strikers won three matches and Perth Coaches won only two matches. So Coming to the last match performance, so the match was abandoned due to rain. So uh, I will talk about the team who so played uh, in the last match. So other teams, so Perth Coaches Women so played versus Brisbane Heat Women in the last match. So they chased down the total very easily. So Sophie Devine scored 87 runs, Beth Mooney scored 48. So bowler done very good job. So batsman also done very good job. So Without any losing wicket, they chased down the total. So Nicole Bolton picked up on wicket. Samantha Betts picked up two wickets. Tana Pascal picked up on wicket. And Heather Grandma picked up on wicket in that match. So coming to the last match of Adelaide Strikers Women. So they played against Sydney Thunder Women. So they, they lost that match. So while defending, so Thale McGrath scored 12. So they would scored only 136 for the loss of 6 wickets. So Thale McGrath 12. Katy Max scored an excellent half century. Tyler scored 33. Amanda Wellington scored 13 plus picked up 3 wickets. So Sarah Coit also picked up on wicket and Desi Brown picked up on wicket. So this is the last match performance of both teams. So coming to the batting order of both teams. So from first cause women's Sophie Devine and Beth Moon in open innings. Emily Jones comes at number 3. Chola Pepper at 4. Heather Grandma at 5. Nicola Bolton at 6. Kim Mitchell at 7. Sarah Glenn at 8, Tiana Pascal at 9, Peach Clearly at 10, 9, Samantha Betts at 11. So these batters are bat batting order might change in the real match. So coming to the Adelaide Strikers Women's. So Thalia McGrath and Katie Mack open innings for Adelaide Strikers. So Laura Oldrot so comes at number 3, Tyler at 4, Amanda Wellington at 5, Penna at 6, Bridge Patterson at 7, Sarah Quita at 8. McFarlane at A9, Scott at 10 and Desi Brown at 11. So these are the batting orders of both the teams is called coming to the top performers at this venue. So, to, so Sophie Devine performed well at this ground. So Beth Mooney, Stephanie Tyler, Sarah Koita and Amanda Wellington. So these players played well in this ground. So coming to the last five matches of the both teams. So first coaches won three matches and lost two matches. While chasing two and defending one, so they won the match. While defending one and chasing one, so they lost the two matches. So from LS Tech Women's, they won two and lost three matches. So coming to the Grand League picks of today's match, going to be Bitch Patterson, um, Kimichel, Tyler, Nicola Bolton, and Magnus Scott. So these players are going to be the Grand League pick for today's match. So coming to the team. So firstly, I have talk about the small league team. So from wicket keeper department, I have gone with Beth Mooney without any doubt. So scoring in the all of the match, all the matches consistently. So I am going with Beth Mooney. So from batting department, I have gone with Katie Mack and Laura Wowdot Allrout from the Adelaide Strikers Women. So both are in very good form. So from first coaches woman, I have called with Chola Piper. She is also in very good form. So three batters from the batting department. So coming to the all round department, so I am talking about the small league team. So from Perth coaches, Sophie Devine without any doubt. So and Heather Grandma. So with the bat and ball, so it is important to go with four all rounders for every match in women, women's cricket team. So and I have gone with Tale McGrath and Amanda Wellington. So they are both both are in very good form. So two all rounders from uh, LA Strikers and two all rounders from Perth coaches women. So equally balanced. So coming to the bowling department, so gone with three bowlers, so the players who are in form, so they are also going to bowl four overs. So Sarah Koita, 
from Adelaide Strikers. So Pascal and Glenn from the Perth Coaches Women's. So coming to the captain and vice captain for today's match. So small league match. Sophie Divine and Talia McGrath going to the captain and vice captain option for today's small league match. So small league team for today's match. So coming to the grand league team. So wicket keeper team Beth Mooney. So coming to the batting department. So I have gone with Bridge Patterson from the Grand League pick. It's a Grand League pick. So 12% of the people have selected. So I am going with Bridge Patterson for the Grand League match. So Katy Mack without any doubt. So scored excellent off century the last match. And also Chola Piper from Perth Coaches Women's. So you can also try with K. Mitchell. So coming to the R Noter department. So I have gone with Sophie Devine and Nicola Bolton. So Nicola Bolton is a grand league pick for today's match. So bowled well in the last match. She can score some runs if she gets a chance to bat. So three all-rounders from first coaches women's. So going in the favor of first coaches women. So they are in very good form. So I am gone with Talia McGrath from the LA Strikers women's. So you can also try with Stephanie Tyler. So instead of Nicola Bolton, she is also in very good form. So coming to the bowling department, so I have gone with Sarah Glenn from Perth Scotches Women. So going to bowl four overs. Sarah quite also bow go and bowl four overs for Adelaide Strikers Women. So as a Grand League pick, I have gone with Magna Scott. Only sixty percent of the people have selected her. So coming to the captain and vice captain, so I have gone with Talia McGrath as a captain and Heather Grandma as a vice captain. So different options. So picked by less number of people. So you can also try with Beth Mooney for a Grand League matches as a captain. So I'm going with Talia Magra. So she's an all-rounder. So with the bat and ball, she gets the chance to score some points. So get so. So this is the team for today's Grand League match. So do make changes after the toss. So thank you for watching.